spring is here. It's great to be outside enjoying warm sunny days, but beautiful spring weather can change in a flash. Severe weather could be right around the corner, so it's best to be prepared. Recently, I spoke with award-winning chief meteorologist Rich Apuzo. He shared some great information and a few tips on how to deal with severe weather. Let's listen. Severe weather is defined in a couple of ways. Uh, and when it comes to thunderstorms, you either have to have winds of 58 miles an hour or stronger, those are considered severe winds, or hail of one inch or larger. Now, of course, a tornado is also considered severe, so that a severe thunderstorm can produce a tornado, but a severe thunderstorm, by definition, has just those two things. They'll so issue a warning sometimes if they think the hail may get there, or the Weather Service will do this too. They'll issue a warning if a hail maybe doesn't quite meet the criteria, but it's hitting a major metropolitan area. Now you've got a lot of people affected. So instead of taking a chance on it getting to an inch or larger, let's just issue that warning now to protect lives a little better. More warnings are going to be issued for metropolitan areas simply because more people live there and they want to protect lives. That's the point of the warning. You know, the biggest thing with severe weather to do to, to make it work for you so that you're not getting in trouble is to be prepared. Now there's one of the things we teach in meteorology, certainly the National Weather Service uh, talks about this, is situational awareness. And this is the case no matter what you're dealing with. But weather, it's certainly true, and that means you have to be responsible for knowing what's going on. Before you go outside, know what the weather forecast is, know if thunderstorms are possible, and in most forecasts now, you'll hear that threat for severe weather. They'll say some storms may be strong or severe. If you hear that, think to yourself, okay, where am I going? How long am I going to be there? If a severe storm hits, what do I need to do? If you're going to your home, make sure you know where in your home is the safest points, which in a home, especially with a tornado, the lower you get down, the better. In a home, you don't have to worry too much about lightning, except that you want to stay off corded phones. Cordless are fine, but wired phones, most people use cell phones now, no big deal. Stay out of the bathtub, out of the shower. So, because again, pipes bringing water into the house are metal. Electricity can be conducted through those pipes. So just stay out of the shower. You can take a shower later and just stay off anything wired. Usually turn off your electronics in case lightning hits directly on your building and it can happen. You don't want to fry your electronics or have them explode, which has happened before. Other than that, lightning and hail, enjoy the storm, you know, with the power off. So when people think of severe storms, they might say, gosh, I saw this thunderstorm, lightning was hitting everywhere, knocking out power, and, and, and somebody even got killed by the lightning. And yet, there was no warning for the storm because we cannot issue warnings for lightning. Lightning is one of those things that is unpredictable. We don't know how much a storm will produce, how long it will last, where it will strike. Because of that, you can't issue a warning for lightning. So even though lightning is one of the leading killers, it's our second leading killer in the United States from thunderstorms, followed by flooding, uh, flooding is the leading and then lightning. Even though it's a big killer, we can't issue warnings for it. So no matter what you think you're seeing, if you're seeing a big storm and it has a lot of lightning, that doesn't mean it's severe. It's got to have large hail, one inch or larger, or 58 mile an hour winds. Otherwise, it could be striking every down tree down in the world with lightning, and that's not a severe storm, at least not yet. Until we get better technology and we can actually forecast lightning, but we simply can't do it now. Everyone lives in the weather. We're all affected by the weather. Businesses are affected by the weather. So these are things to remember. Be prepared, know what the weather's going to be like before you're heading out, and no matter where you're heading, think of where you'd go for safety if you're going to have lightning, hail, tornadoes especially, or flooding. If you know you live in a flood-prone area, you should already have a plan in place in case flooding hits because you've got to get to higher ground. That's what it's all about.